Ben Affleck is finally free. Again. Again, I know. we have. There, there's a few big things that we're going to talk about this episode, but I do want to give a shout out to my man, Ben Affleck, for going back. Because he's going back because the pussy was too good. The pussy was too good. And then he is finally out. Batman himself. Anything, any chance of a three-peat rubber match? I think what happened, it, well, you I tell mean, me your she synopsis. Has, she has, everyone says she's a fucking nightmare of a well, person. That's obviously what happened. Yeah, like everybody is like, hell. she is a piece of shit. And he said, I've been dead for a long time, but even I have limits. <laughs> <laughs> that was Ben Affleck's Batman. He had the worst quotes. <laughs> 20 years in Gotham, Alfred. We've seen what promises are worth. <laughs> I don't think I don't think no. Ben Affleck's ba- ba- uh, Batman had one no- uh, notable no, quote. No, he didn't have a good Batman. Men are still good. We fight, we kill, we betray each other, but then we rebuild. All right. So he's rebuilding in phase right now. He's he didn't have rebuilding. the Ben Affleck. I mean, he bought Batman a twenty and a half. Quotes. They're like he bought a twenty point five million dollar bachelor pad, so he's doing all right. They're gonna have to split that puppy up, and there was no prenup too, so Ben could be in the money right now. You think? It, I feel like they probably from the from what the it explained is, they probably make similar. I know Ben Affleck has a bunch of weird things. No, maybe that's not Ben Affleck. That might be Ryan Reynolds. I, I, I'm not yeah, thinking yeah, Ryan yeah. Reynolds. But ben Affleck, got, like he produces stuff. He makes money. I'm yeah, not here to he, argue with you that Ben Affleck. Netflix not making money, but don't underestimate J Lo having like her perfume line that just raked it in. Well, then win for uh, Ben Affleck. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the article. What do you think I said? Well, they were kind of making it out like you know who might be in trouble here. Yeah, but uh, if if they're saying, uh, I mean, she did have to cancel her big tour. Okay, here's where I'll give you. Yeah. If they're saying who might be in trouble, that might mean Ben Affleck's in trouble. Yeah. Uh, because they wouldn't even be. Well, talking that's about their pre-nubs. presumption is the guy gets. Fucked on the prenup or not having the prenup yes but but it's, this might be a madonna don't... situation so i think that i think benny might be fine at the right. most he might even be walking away with a little bit of dough in his pockets yeah don't underestimate some of those big like big name female celebrities they're just like you look at it and you're like she has a sandal line she has a nail polish oh, line, yeah, she has yeah, a jewelry yeah. line yeah he's like every single one of those are billion dollar companies yeah yeah she's she, they're both doing all right it's a scent yeah just yeah. one stupid person i wonder if that's even something they even really care about because they're kind of rolling in it so much where they're like, yeah, whatever. A couple mil goes one way or another. I don't think that. I think that. I don't mm-hmm. think that uh, Jennifer Lopez is letting a couple think, mil go one way ben, or the other. You think Ben Affleck's just I smoking think, a dart right now? You know what? I really do believe that. It, in there's probably many dudes that have gone that way where the dude will just be like, you know what? Obviously, I might be entitled to more. Let's just split it up even. I don't think it's the other way around. I think if Jen, if Jennifer Lopez is a. Uh, if she's entitled to some money, my guess would be she's getting every last oh, penny. Oh, yeah, 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 She's splitting up the matches in the matchbook that they both uh, got together as a gift. I mean, in her opinion, I'm sure it's like he f***ed me over twice now. So it f***ed her over? I mean, well, the guy was on his deathbed. You see him walking around? He barely, he was like barely living. Man, that's, uh... So, Ben's gonna be back on the dating apps, and I just want to tell Ben Affleck, it's not as easy as you think out there. <laughs> it's not. So, you know, a lot of people are complaining. Single girls out there are using ChatGPT to expose men for lying about their height on dating apps. Now, this is... The th- <laughs> See, the problem is you can't even extrapolate this to weight. Guys have to start doing, like, the uh, the sneaky camera angles. You can guys 100% are- extrapolate it to weight. Well, but I'm saying girls use those sneaky camera angles. Well, I mean, generally, if, if a girl's photos are all just her face. Uh, the, she's doing hiding. the math. She's hiding something. Oh yeah, she's taking a photo from the ladder. <laughs> you know, what just I mean? her face, huh? <laughs> you go, it's why just is all it? green space or <laughs> whatever blue space, and then just like a. Why head. is this photo taken from a trapeze artist? <laughs> This is taken from on top of the Empire oh, you, State Building. So you, uh, you're a drone operator, <laughs> huh? You're big into drones. I see. <laughs> they have a yeah, legitimate like jousting pole just <laughs> in the air with the tiniest thing. Still so, with the whole body cut off. Well, I think that's what's happening. They always girls think they have uh, a hot tip and they never like it. I do it turns remember on that was a big part when I was doing online like the <laughs> I was apps. Trying to figure that was out. Was literally like trying to just decipher the body. You're like, what's going on here? And then you're like, no photos, and you're like, and then they'd be like hiding behind a tree, like that dude with the meme. <laughs> You know that guy? And, <laughs> and like, yeah, of course on? I know that guy. What's going on here? And then you're like, but so may- maybe you need it from the face. You'll have to just extrapolate it straight from okay, the face. Okay, but I think that the, you, I, okay, so their whole thing is like, we hacked the code. They never like it when the code gets hacked the no. other way. But 100% you could do that. 
uh, essentially, it's it wouldn't be the hardest thing in the world because you would do all the probabilities. You go, what's the probabilities yeah. that a girl has uh, zero photos of her body yeah. and she's like smoking body? Almost zero. Sure. So you're already, you can probably, if you took 90 profiles and then you were able to like get what they actually look like yeah. and then you did the math on that, you, I bet you you could find out a pretty big probability where you go, this girl's photos all look like this. You go... Sorry to tell you, 75% chance that girl's a fucking whale. Yeah. Okay, what do, what do you think about this idea? You know how they have, like, in malls and stuff and places, they'll have, like, an influencer uh, store where you can just take photos and there'll be, like, a cockpit or whatever. Uh-huh. It's, it's something like that for guys. Everything is 7 8 scale. Yeah, sure, right? right? It's all 7 8 scale. It's like scale. a small pop can for the dick thing. Right, exactly. So you go, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you go and you just take photos in the 7 8 scale house and then people that match up and they go, well, it's a that huge tall shit. Yeah, just like, and you get like you know the wax museum and they're like, yeah. you know Tom Cruise and they got him at four 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 one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I take all my dick pics. Uh, uh, Mexican wrestling mask. Uh, <laughs> standing in. No, that's what I do. I take all my dick pics. Mexican camera, wrestling camera mask. Camera on the floor. Camera on the floor. <laughs> you just lording above it like standing Buffalo Bob. in the bathtub holding a toaster. <laughs> <laughs> and then you put that For on the scale. dating. App. You put that on the dating app. Blurred. Yeah. So that's an option. You know what is funny? Because uh, they they do have all the uh, like all the people that have the chat GPT girlfriends right now. Mm-hmm. But it was sort of making me laugh that the idea that you go, okay, so someone's chat GPT girlfriend. You go, what's the worst type of girlfriend? The girlfriend that would always be trying to get in your phone and like all that sort of sure. stuff. You go, a girlfriend that lives in lives your phone. Lives in your phone? <laughs> You're trying to look at porn. Like, what's that? <laughs> what are you doing there? Well, as long Why as you send that message, what's that sexist mean? <laughs> A billion women and still not clean ones. That's what I mean. She's in your phone. Yeah, as long as you keep them not sentient. Once they get sentient, that's going to be a... You're going to have all sorts of viruses. Well, one, you know, that's definitely where you're getting the viruses from. But yes, 100% that I think that... Uh, Chad, I G- mean, women are getting a little too picky here. I don't want to be that guy, but if, if this is where they're getting at... Like, I don't think, I don't think this, like, it's going to shake out that well for the women who are, who are doing these uh, little experiments with the height ratios no. like i'm like eh. but not to mention it's like it's always the same thing they're like we cracked this code and then it gets cracked the other way yeah. and they're just like stop oh, it wasn't meant to be <laughs> he goes i mean you could probably Chicks didn't make i think you could crack code. how crazy they are based on their thing too honestly i think you could do the math you could do the math based on their captions look at their profile and you could d- d- I think legitimately some dude can invent a thing where you go, you you fucking fill them into this thing and tell you how crazy they are. Yeah. The only the only problem is the girls that are really crazy are pretty good at hiding it because mm-hmm. they start. What they do is they dye their hair, change their name, move towns, and they start all over start again. Fresh. That's what exactly Nin- what they do. Nineteen hundred style, just start a new life. Right, so town over. Ben Affleck is gonna be. On the scene, and this is what he's going to have to be dealing with right now. I know he's got some cash. Okay, but- so I just got into my car after going on a date, right? And let me just right? tell you something. Right. I don't know what the deal is with, like, men now, but I had told him prior trans. that I will be having pre- and post-date expenses, and is that okay, and are you going to cover them? And I don't know if he wasn't listening or, like, what the deal was or whatever, <laughs> but he, when I handed him the white envelope, he looked shocked. And <laughs> white then- envelope of pre-date expenses! So this chick is, I, I kind of would... Did a deep dive into her, and she's okay. uh, she, she's teaching sugar baby courses. She's like a sugar baby Andrew <laughs> Tate, right? <laughs> Essentially, uh, she's mental completely, but she's just like that's her whole thing is like sugar baby stuff, and so she's trying to like put some girls on to the world of sugar babying. But she does one on one Zoom calls. We could probably set one up. So is she talk? <laughs> From the other side? From the other side, yeah. What? Okay, yeah, it'd be, it'd be pretty funny to do that, and then you put, like, the wig on and everything. <laughs> You're just like... like okay, so is she talking about going on a date with a normal guy, or is she talking about a sugar daddy? She's talking about, I think, uh, a sugar... Well, maybe it was a sugar daddy, but, like, he doesn't quite understand. Okay. Because like, she, she does talk about, like, some guys don't get it sometimes, where, like, what the arrangement exactly is, because she's not... They're, like, part of it is, like, not being super clear sometimes about what it is so some guy thinks he's like going out oh it's just like a date and she's like no it's not a date or like i'm just paying you for sex tonight well, so what does she think the what does she think the 500 dollars pre and post date expenses are she's talking about like her eyelashes and everything she's Uber, wearing yeah she's clothes uh, clothes that i bought a month salon, ago on <laughs> just labor I mean, there's Ben a, Affleck a, can pay the. I, I yeah. don't think Affleck's gonna have a problem with the pre and post. I don't expenses. think he's gonna love that accent. Although he is, <laughs> the accent's is insane. From Boston, but is that what that is? Boston? No, 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 that's like Philly, Baltimore. 
after or going on a date, right? And let me just tell you something. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know. Is. I don't know what the... That, You're right. That, it's that, Philly. That, that's Philly or Baltimore. <laughs> it sounds like Stuff that's, Island. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's the ball. <laughs> oh, I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, I can't do a Philly accent, a but... One. So that's what Ben Affleck's going to have to be dealing with. Sorry, Benno. Uh, 